<laughs> so, I, 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 you I don't look at the right. The record goes out the window with Mendes. I've yeah. worked his fights before, and he said in fighter meetings, hey, "Listen, at this stage of my career, I'm an I'm a fitness guy. I run, I swim, I lift weights." Introducing to you first, he fights out of the blue corner. He wears the red and gold trunks. He weighed in at 156.2 pounds. His record, 14 wins, six losses with six wins by knockout from Stockton, California, by way of Colonia Alvaro Obregón, Ciudad Lerdo, Durango, Mexico. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears the gold and blue trunks. He weighed in at 155.8 pounds. His record, 16 wins, just two losses with nine wins by knockout from Los Angeles, California. Give it up for Guido Emmanuel Hess Schramm. Hernandez, as the champ said, always fit. We'll see how his fitness holds up, round number one. That Argentina versus Mexico classic mesh of styles and fighting two fighting countries. I hate to be the one to tell you this, um, you being, you know, Argentine and everything, it's, it's the country Latin America loves to hate. So just, just be ready for that in this fight. Like you're telling me. <laughs> Hernandez in the red and gold, Shram in the gold and blue, no surprise there. And already we see everything that we were speaking about at the top of this show. You see Hernandez coming forward, putting pressure. You see Shram, who actually put himself on the ropes there a little bit, but has sneaky attacks. He's able to throw off, offbeat punches that find their home. Yeah, yeah. Paulie, we talked a lot about that tendency. Shram tends to put himself against the ropes. Yeah, yeah, and Hernandez, that's right where Hernandez wants him, you know? So in, in this particular case, if Shram is going to put himself on the ropes and he's going to move around, he's got to mix it up with those shots just like that, just like that one too, right, Champ? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think he should use his jab because Vlad can do this all night. He can punch all night, especially if you're on the ropes. He can punch all night, so I don't think that's the best place for him. But if he sneaks those shots in there, able to get away, defend himself on the ropes, he may be fine. Yeah, I feel like it's important with all the with the movement, something we brought out before at the top of the show. He's got to use those punches with that movement. He can't just be that movement where you think you're going to confuse a guy like Hernandez because Hernandez doesn't care. He'll just keep bringing it to you. Yeah, I'm surprised Hernandez is actually able to oh, put, nice put, right hand. To put leather on Tram so early here. Even if he's just touching him on the inside. It could be, as you said, champ, just faith in his Ooh, conditioning. Body shot. Shot yeah. by Hernandez. And who knows, also, Shrim may be saying, I don't want this guy chasing me around all 10 rounds. Maybe I got to stay in my ground early so I can get him off me late. Oh, uh, you know, he, a body shot there by Shrim. I can tell that that's probably the game plan because he's thumping to the body. He's going hard to the body. So maybe he's trying to take something out of that. And I'll tell you, both these guys hit much harder than their records allude to. They don't have a lot of knockouts, but we're see we can hear them ringside. These are heavy shots. Lamont, you're oh, 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 that left hand hurt. shot from Hernandez. Oh, that left hand hurt. Hernandez He's trying to fight through it. Man, Hernandez keep moving his hands. A quicker fight than a lot of people expected from the start. Myself included. I remember, hey, Jimmy, at the front, you asked me, like, when are we going to know how this fight's going to be? Round one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right, champ. <laughs> Round one. I will never doubt you again. <laughs> Great stuff, Hernandez. What a lot of fighters call, you know, the lunch bell kind of guy, right? Just works hard, Ooh. comes at you, but he's throwing leather early. Yeah. Hernandez just lets those hands go, man. It's, he gets you coming in, he gets you coming out, just like that. Yeah, he just pecks. He just pecks, yep. pecks, pecks all night. And then when he sees something, he does throw something hard. Nothing fancy. He just gets there. Yeah, all the, all, exactly, gets there all the yep. while, moving his feet towards you, you know, cutting you off, uh, putting you in that, put that mental pressure as well as that physical pressure. Good uppercut on the inside. He's catching Shram a lot when he's pulling out. So far, it's been a Hernandez kind of fight, putting That's pressure forward. Yeah, I like that shot. So far in round number one. Oh. Ha! Shoot. Yeah, definitely. From both of the guys, though, honestly. Absolutely. All right, round number two. Vladimir Hernandez versus Aguido Schramm. He's coming out on the bounces, and now he's, like, using a jab, trying to, trying to distract Vlad. And that's what we've seen from the past from, from Guido when he had him on our air. You know, he's a good mover. He's athletic. He fires from that lateral movement. But this is where Hernandez likes his opponents to be. Puts their back on the ropes and lets those numbers run up. 
Pauly, I asked you about that in the beginning of the fight. You know, when we were breaking this one down, can Shram throw enough power to back Hernandez off? He's certainly trying to do that. I, I, I tell you what, though, if, if you're Shram, you're not known as a big puncher, right? You're, you, I think the punches have to be snappy off the movement, and it has to be smoothly flow off the movement. What we're seeing Shram doing is he's moving, but then he kind of stops to load up, and, and it's not smooth off the kind of fight you're fighting. It's not smooth off the movement you're, you're giving. Okay. So it's a, it's a bit more telegraphed that way. When you're a mover and we and you're deceptive in that way. Let the punches come out smoothly with snap. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's just like it's not coming off natural. Like he's actually trying hard to punch hard. Yeah, and, and Hernandez is going to see that, and he can prepare for that, you know, and he can partially block those. And... That's one thing about Hernandez. He stays very calm and poised. Stays in the pocket, very calm, letting his hands go. Doesn't mind when punches are coming back at him, just like that. Stays pushing, putting pressure on his man. Flash your heads in there, too. They're banging. Yes, that. that also doesn't bother Hernandez. <laughs> Last time out against Johan Gonzalez. Shram, you know, good fight, competitive yeah. fight, entertaining fight. But I thought Shram looked very good in that Yeah, fight. he looked very good, but Gonzalez with his power punching a little too much, especially with his physical pressure. The problem is we thought Shram would control rounds. We thought they'd be early. Well, it turns out Hernandez starting off very, very strong. Well, I mean, listen, you're coming on short notice. You know, maybe you want to start early so you can bank some rounds just in case you do run out of gas. You know, Vladimir is a veteran. He's been in there with some tip-top guys, and he's gone 10 rounds before. Said it a million times, he's a guy who plays the role of the spoiler well. Right. At, at range, Hernandez is love to get off, get his hands off. He'll keep moving his hands. So Shram, if he's gonna be at this range, he's gotta be busy. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's putting this up in Blaze range, and he's just letting his hands go. And it's not something we brought a lot of attention to, but Hernandez is the southpaw, so those punches are coming from different angles. So even though he's just letting his hands go, doesn't fight like a traditional southpaw, definitely not slick, but those punches are coming from angles that you might not see. I'll tell you what, though, from what I'm seeing from Shrim, and, and I know it's still early, but if you're not a big puncher and, and it's coming to the point where you have to fight your way, your guy away from you, it's I'm not gonna work. You, you, you're gonna have to beat a pressure guy in different ways than having to physically just fight him off. Obviously, it's a fight, you're gonna fight, but you wanna be able to outsmart him, outmaneuver him. If you gotta, if, if Shram has to fight Vladimir Hernandez off all 10 rounds, it's gonna be a, a tough night. He's doing it really well here at the end of round two. And Shram. I was just about to ask if, if you know, if you guys know that Shram has a gas tank right now. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, Gonzalez, at this pace, he fought he to the end. Yeah. Okay. Gonzalez, he fought to the end, but this is a different guy. And uh, I think Shram can do a good job. I think just he just needs to stop loading up, and maybe score. I don't know if he wants to assert himself with Vlad, but Vlad is known to have a good chin. So, see, the score like that, that's good. Good right hand from Shram. And then back to the jab and the distance. Yes, definitely. This is the fight, this is the fight for Shram here. This is the fight for Hernandez there. Let's see what adjustments are made here in round number three. Both fighters kind of know what they're dealing with. That's now. a good uppercut on the inside. That's one thing Shram did show in that last fight with Gonzalez, a good chin, because Gonzalez is a very good puncher, and he did take some shots, especially in the middle to late round. Hernandez is a, good, a solid position fighter. He looks to get in position. He, he doesn't overcommit to defense when you do throw at him. He tries to keep that pressure on you physically and mentally. And he doesn't overshoot his shots either. See yeah, he, has, he doesn't right get there. over his skis, so to speak. He doesn't get his head too far over, even though he's a pressure from forward guy. He still has good balance. Yeah. You see how he, he maintains his distance even though he's close? That was a good shot by Aguido. But Vlad is still scoring. Yep, against the undefeated prospect, Lorenzo Simpson. You could see in that fight that Simpson was like, what is it going to take oh. to get this guy off me? And it never happened. Shram has to figure that out. Yeah. He won that fight by majority decision. Yeah, I actually called that fight uh, with Lorenzo Simpson. That was the one where you saw it yeah, in the fighter meeting, and you were like, oh. I, I saw that it was Hernandez. I said, this is way too early for, for Truck's career. Um, I, I actually figured that uh, her, uh, Fernandez was going to win that fight. Hernandez. Yeah, Truck's a good talent. I, th I think the same. I think it was too early for him. Too early, yeah. Way too much experience. But you saw late in that fight, Simpson almost giving them, like, God, what is it going to take to get some space from this guy? Honestly, Smothering. that's, that's yeah. every single person who's fought Hernandez <laughs> up until this point. But that's why you can't be trying to fight these guys off of you. Yeah. You see what Shrem, oh, that was a good stiff you see, Shrem, Shrem's approach is he's either moving all the way over or he stays still and tries to block on the glove. You need to have that in between against a guy like Hernandez where you control it even if it's at a fast pace because here, you see what Shrem's doing. He's either fighting fully and he's at 100 or he's at zero trying to block on the ropes. Right. You need this. You need a middle gear here against Hernandez, but you, or he's going to be too comfortable. And even at 100, he's not really separating himself from Hernandez. Can't Hernandez really is still fight. in there. Yeah, you can't really fight at 100 all the time either. Not to mention, you know. Oh, oh. good left hand. 
from the Southpaw Hernandez. Hernandez, a, a couple moments ago, landed a really nice straight left hand to the liver, which from the southpaw position is a dangerous, nasty punch. Shram does really good when he's when he gets off first. It's just a matter of if he lets Vlad get return fire. See how he has him on defense? That's that's the perfect thing to be, uh, the perfect thing to do to against Vlad. But but to your point, in that position, Paulie, a lot of movement, only one punch. Yeah, See? yeah. And now now he let him get back. Nice oh. shot to punctuate round number three. Trans mouthpiece out. A fight has broken out, gentlemen. Welcome back. Our main event, round four, about to begin. The champ Lamont pointed out mouthpiece went onto the floor. At the end of round number three. Yeah, but right before that, Shran landed a beautiful left hook right there. Bang. Big shot. Probably the biggest punch that he's landed so far tonight. But then the mouthpiece slipped out. Mouthpiece came out with it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get hit. That's crazy. He was breathing out, I think, from punching. And to your point, champ, I'm surprised he actually picked it up himself. You don't really, you don't really know man. a fighter do that with his gloves on. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on with that. But the referee who has gloves on handle it. We've round number four. Guido Schramm in the blue and gold, the fighter from Argentina. Taking on Vladimir Hernandez in the red and gold, Mexico via Stockton. I think Schramm should, should flash a, a, a jab or two instead of just pawing with it. There's a little trench warfare here, man. Yeah. A little head butting, a little holding and hitting. Oh, no. oh, good body, body shot. shot. That was a good body shot. Nice really right hook shot. over the top as well from the southpaw. Oh. And again, you, 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 you're going to be in Hernandez's kitchen. Do you you got to decide. If you're going to decide to fight a Mexican fighter like this, you got to decide at the beginning of the fight. Do you, Am I really ready to fight this pace the whole fight? Right. Once, you get a, uh, once you don't let sleeping dogs lie, now you got to now you gotta fight fight their fight the whole time because they're not going to stop. Shram is tough, man. He got hit with a really, really big left hook to the liver in the middle of punching, too. When you're stretched out, those hurt the most, and he came right back. Oh, oh good right hand. These guys are living up the pro box oh. standards. Oh, good body. It is a phone booth fight for both of these gentlemen. One of Shram would engage in this, and he is. Shram's doing a good job, man. He's uh, he's taking those shots well. If he stays the aggressor right here, he should bank this round. And if he doesn't want to fight, he should get out. Yeah, to your point, champ, I'm actually surprised. Shram's a much better inside fighter than I expected. Yes. Especially against a guy like Hernandez. Certainly no hesitation Ooh, to nice engage, forehead shot. to forehead. Oh, beautiful hey. uppercut. Yeah, he's, he got hit with that because he's standing still. Battle of wills here. You know, it looks to me like the, the game plan for Shram is to outlast the guy who took the fight on two weeks' notice. He's I'm going to stand with you, I'm going to make you work, and then... But fight Jim, you on the inside. But Jim, you said Hernandez is a fitness trainer, right? Yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> I didn't say it was the, it was the right game plan, but it, it seems like that's what the game plan is. And another thing to keep in mind, when, you, when you're fighting a, a, a fighter's kind of fight, they seem to have a ton of gas. Right, because they're used to this kind of fight. Yeah. Fighters get tired when you make yeah. them fight a different kind yeah. of fight. Exactly. Hernandez, hasn't, Henry, Hernandez hasn't had to do and that. And that's what I was saying at the beginning of the fight. If, if the fight turns into the... Ooh, they they shot, both hit each other. If, 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 if you're forced to fight, if Hernandez fights, forces Shram to fight this kind of fight, it doesn't necessarily mean that Shram definitely loses the fight, but his path to victory becomes that much more complicated. Yeah. Yeah. See. You know, Shram's actually looking really good here. He is, though, and, he's, and the good thing about it that I noticed that it's not that he's getting visibly tired or anything. No, no his conditioning looks really good right now. He doesn't need to give this round up, though. If he gets his <laughs> round up, this is, that's, that's not good. Um, Very good shot. Good exchange. These guys lo really loading up on the inside as well. Good sneak uppercut there by Hernandez. You notice when Shram was doing his best work is when he had. How about Pro Box TV? You got a, a two-week late replacement, and he comes in and puts on a great, great show. We're only in round five. So far, fantastic. Halfway through. Beginning of round number five, scheduled for ten. The only thing Shram is missing really is a good stiff jab. Hasn't really been able to keep the distance. A little difficult, you know, opposite stances. Sometimes the jab isn't quite as effective, but 
You're right, champ. He hasn't really been able to use oh. it as well as he has in previous fights. Yes, because you see him when, when he gets off first, he, he's able to land good shots. That was a good hook. Oh, man, that was I feel like Hernandez's punches are more natural when they come out. Shraman's like visibly loading up. Yes. Shraman's like, man, get off of me! <laughs> Every shot he does. Oh, oh, just like shot. that. Yes. While, while Hernandez is more like, yeah, this is me. This is what I do, you know? Volume, wear you down. Death of a thousand cuts. But also, Shram shots are very eye-catching. Very yeah. visible. You can see them. Hernandez much more subtle with those shots. And you don't know how the judges are scoring. If they're scoring those big blows or not. It's not an easy fight to score. These guys are, are fighting a nip-tuck kind of fight. And another thing you can score is the real estate. And so far, Hernandez has been controlling the real estate in this fight. And Shram does get hit on the out sometimes, you know, yes. which is also eye-catching because getting carried. thing Shram has not done so far is overlook this last minute replacement. He has fought hard the entire time, but so has Hernandez. You pointed it out over and over, champ, that this guy is in great shape. That's that His style requires it. Yeah, he comes to fight. But also with Shram, I mean, not overlooking Hernandez. I, you know, he was coming in here to fight Butayev, who's a, who's a monster. monster. He was training for a very, very tough opponent, and then he had a very, very tough replacement. So I don't think it really changes the mindset for Shram. Like, he's going to get complacent with the guy he has in front of him. Good uppercut by Shram on the inside, but good return by him. Good, turn by yeah. Good two way action, guys. I mean, this yeah. is again Pro Box TV. Dig in, right? <laughs> and he's never hit Hernandez hard enough to back him off. He'll take the shot, take the uppercut, but to your point, Lamont, he's right back in answering with punches. Yes. And yeah, that's the thing about Hernandez. He's a position fighter in that he doesn't bust position even defensively. You see Shram at times with bust position being all over the place. Hernandez, you hit him or not, he doesn't bust position. He tries to, so it keeps that mental pressure on you as well as physical. But at times, even when Shram does bust position, he uses it to land offense. He throws some yeah, oh yeah, weird that's punches from places that you can't see, and then he cracks you with a big eye-catching shot. Like that. Even though that punch was partially blocked, it looked much bigger and better than it was. Midway point of this fight so far. Nobody's slowing down or backing off for six and what has so far been a war of attrition. Pretty much what we expected, gentlemen, is about heart and guts. A little bit about technique as well. Yeah, I mean, this has been a really fun fight. You know, we, we expected a war, but, I mean, these I guys mean, are really having I, no problem. And you talk about the loading up shots, right, Jim? That's the one, I catch you shots. Yep. I catch you. We begin round number six. They're picking up right where they left off or halfway through. I couldn't tell you who is winning this fight. It's about what the judges value. The real estate controlled by Hernandez. Done some good work on the inside. But Shram, champ, you said it, eye-catching punches. Those big shots, he's landed them well. Both guys showing fantastic chance. I, 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 really I tell you what else hurts you. A good head of hair when it's filled, filled, yeah. filled with water. <laughs> hit, the sweat the is going everywhere. That sweat, that all, that's also eye-catching, unfortunately. Yeah. I've mentioned that so many times on air. The like guys when they have longer hair, I'm like, it just makes it. Just like that. It looks like looks so much more dramatic when you get hit with shots. Even with punches that don't land, you get that spray. Chris, I know you're humble bragging about your luscious hair, but it, 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 it tactically, it doesn't always work for no, you. No, that's why I kept that it short there. when I fought. Yeah, it's a little longer now. You know what's surprising to me? That was the first clinch that was actually broken oh. by the ref. Yeah. Yeah, both of these guys are allergic to clinches, too. Yeah. It's a good body shot. That's to a your point, champ, it's been, it's been a clean fight so far. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say clean, Jimmy. Yeah, but the headbutts, maybe the referee hasn't seen. They've accepted the, head, the headbutts. Yeah, the headbutts have become, <laughs> the headbutts have become part of the flow. Because there's headbutts in a lot of these inside exchanges. These guys are warriors. They don't even know what ref's in there. Yeah, and you know what? It's lefty versus righty, so at that close range, a lot of times the clashes of heads happen so much on accident. And but also the movement and the, and the head movement of, of Shram. And you got you got uh, Hernandez, who's pushing forward all the time. Head clashes. Yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, they're not supposed to. But when you talk to referees, they'll go, look, you both want a headbutt? Fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's all they've both been yeah. doing. Okay, fine. Uh, you guys that's wanna... something I learned with the pros, you know. Yeah. Right. It's going to happen. There, there was one fight when I first started dealing with that. I'm looking at the referee like, dude, what? And he's looking back at me like, what do you want? <laughs> so, so, so I guess I'm not there. I'm not going to talk about it. I'll just, we'll just deal with it. So like I said, that's oh, good right hand. Good shot again. Another one. 
I was also going to say that was the first time I saw Hernandez taking a deep breath as he stepped back and then got cracked with a big overhand shot. See how he has Hernandez on defense? He should have kept advantage of that. He had him on the corner. Oh. See, now he's coming back with punches. And a sharp shot on the inside by Hernandez. Backs off Shrimp. And again, short and subtle from Hernandez. Shrimp initiated a clinch there. Is he tiring, guys? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, after, after round five, after the halfway point, that's when those two weak notice is going to take. I don't care what kind of fitness guy you are, 10 rounds is 10 rounds. A 10 round fight, is, there's no kind of conditioning like that if you're not preparing for it. Eight, nine, 10 weeks getting ready. And this is a ram again. He shrimps looking to grab and, and, and yeah, it breaks a little bit. Also, two week notice, you don't know how much struggle Hernandez had to make the weight. Yeah. And that, oh, that's, that's an important it. factor as well. But like you said, he's a fitness instructor, so maybe he was close to the weight. But you said it, Chris, that maybe he was banking rounds early, knowing he might fade a little bit late. We could be seeing that. Shram's getting a little tired because his exits are, his hands are down. And, and like there I said, he's the one initiating the clinches now. Yeah. Oh! Big left hand there. Oh! oh! I told you. Oh, my God. This might be over. He's going to get up. left hand all night long so one right there and here comes a big shot oh too tall he's shifting all over too tall jam good oh, point yep. he's up high he's shifting over to his right while throwing that left yeah. that was showing how 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 it was i was telling how he was getting tired and, and exiting with his hands down Champ, that's a great point as you get tired you start getting taller your legs don't want to get down you don't want to drop your butt anymore you get taller and your fundamentals and, you and yes. your fundamentals lamont was talking about his hands are starting to get lower it's fundamentals at long range you can get away with bad fundamentals but at short range you gotta have it and remember we talked about the ability to punch and move you gotta have the ability to punch and move means do it responsibly yes. Ram did not do it responsibly there and he walked right into a monster shot which he never saw coming because he was looking at his own left hook as he was trying to throw it so he's looking at the target of what he's trying to hit and he never sees the shot he walks Holy, into you made that great point earlier Shram looked like he was trying to hit hard that's what that looked like right yeah. there. he was trying to land that shot Hernandez doing what he's doing all night long yep. just getting the punches there set them up just your pressure a lot of times will create errors and mistakes from the fatigue and that's what we ended up here with tonight I mean, guys we had a great fight action-packed two-way action both these guys very evenly matched up amazing that Vladimir Hernandez took this fight on two weeks notice came in started early but Shram started to find his rhythm started to land some really good shots himself eye-catching shots big looping shots great movement his conditioning was starting to show here we see Hernandez letting those hands go as he's known to do Fantastic stuff early on, all the way throughout. I mean, these guys are going tit for tat. I would not have wanted to be a judge tonight if this did reach the 10th round. I'm curious how the judges well, scored this action. It emphatically did round. not. Yes. yes. <laughs> we went from fight, we got fights of the year candidates on, on Pro Box TV. Knockout of the year, knockout of the year candidate. Of the year. That's a knockout of the year candidate, guys. All right, that was beautiful. I'm not going to lie. That was a good shot. Unbelievable. In the fight, you know, the back half of the fight, when you start thinking, I've got And you see right there, he yep. walked into it too. That yep. was the shot he had got hit with before. <laughs> yep. Gentlemen, had it gotten to the point where Shram thought, all right, I know how, the, how hard this guy hits, but he maybe underestimated the power at that point? I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that shot landed right on the money. Like, he, and he didn't see it either. Yes. He's looking at his own so, left hook. You see? see? He's trying to throw his own left hook, shifting over. He's looking at the target he's trying to hit. He's not seeing what's coming back. And see? Also, as Never you, saw it. As you get later in a fight, as you tire, your chin changes. Yes, so, your resistance. Yeah. So you need, to be, you need to be conscious of a guy's power no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen, tell these warriors what you thought of this fight! <laughs> Folks, at 2 minutes 59 seconds of round number 6, this yeah. fight comes to a close for your winner by knockout, Vladimir 24K!